everyone welcome okay let me just clean my eyes just in case just in case you don't wait to die. welcome back to another social distancing vlog i am renelli and this is my channel and you should hit the subscribe button okay okay your distance don't take it personal keep your distance we gotta lock it up keep your distance i cannot walk no more I <laughs> all right yo so um, I woke up really <clears throat> I woke up really late today and I'm so upset because I literally had like so many things planned I was like, you know what? I'll do this. I'll do that and I will just be like really really productive in the house today I went to my bed really late last night um, Like after three You know, so that's why you know, that's why I'm up so late today and when I say late I mean like I got up after 12 that is ridiculous, so I'm cleaning the stove and then I'm gonna start. I'm gonna show you all every single thing that I'm doing today. So, the thing that I'm making today is cheese puffs, and then I'm also making curry shrimp and coconut milk and dumpling my face is like dirty so i'm doing just those two things today so yeah as i said the pasta was supposed to be like this morning and then like this evening i don't know i was i wasn't sure what i'm gonna make what i was going to make for lunch but my entire day was thrown off because of me getting up late and i was like okay maybe i'll just do it in the morning and then i was like no you're not doing it anymore just do everything today because it's your fault you didn't get up early so i'm about to get some tea i'm not getting coffee I didn't drink coffee yesterday and I'm not drinking it today as well. I'm trying my best not to like, especially like if I get up too late, then if I drink coffee, the chances are I might stay up. So I'm just gonna have like a regular degula tea bag. So I'm gonna have this tea bag today. We're gonna start with the puffs. And disclaimer, this is not a tutorial. I am literally trying new stuff. I made these when, I made cheese puffs when I was like in, primary school so i just trying these so it's not a tutorial so if you want a tutorial in the wrong place it's just me trying okay and then we're gonna bring this to a boil just whip it up a little bit yo mix this first just for it to get a little separated at, at least that's what i seen in the video and then we have to add exit it okay y'all so what we're gonna do is add our eggs now i just need to put back these things on the attachments onto the mixer and we're gonna add the eggs progressively i think she say anytime one when you finish, incorporate one egg, you add our next egg. So. so I'm gonna add the first one. And then we're gonna mix. creamy all right so i'm gonna put it in a sandwich bag now and then we're gonna cut the end coming up mm, yeah but not good if you say we're looking at shame oh like sprinkles too thin <laughs> 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 
still looking like people want to run here. But mm. see if you can do it like that. Size. But that's so big. I'm gonna go. Mm -hmm. cookie? <laughs> There's a filler. So this is what it looks like. I don't think it will come out good. Yeah, this looks like it's gonna be a hot feel. And no matter what, my heart was too runny. So I don't know. To me, like I use everything that I was supposed to use, and it still came out runny. So I don't know what happened there, but at least this is like my first try. So I'll learn next time. But I'm gonna put these into the oven now. So I'm adding two cups of flour. One, two. Then I'm going to add two teaspoons of the baking powder. Right, so we have that. One teaspoon of salt. Then we're going to add a cup, a cup of milk. Now they said add milk or water, but because I never add milk to it before, I want to try it out. So I'm just going to put... Probably won't use oil though. Because I have to mix and see how it comes out. So... I personally just like to mix with this first before I get my hands involved. So, mix everything together and we clearly need more milk. So, I'm probably just going to add a little bit more. I don't want to add oil because, you know, I don't know how it will be. Right, now I feel like I could use my hand. This is what we have. Alright y'all, so I am going to put some oil in here to heat up. Just making like a kind of liquid with curry and the coconut powder. So I'm just going to mix this up. I have some leftover garlic and stuff so I'm just going to add that to the pot. Alright, so we have that here. I'm just going to let it cook down a little bit. It looks so good. Ooh. We're going to add the shrimp. And then we're just going to mix it up. So I went ahead and added some tomatoes. And now this is just cooking down. Y'all, it's tasting good. I promise it's tasting so good. And then I have my dumplings on this pot here. So I'm just waiting for this to finish. And yes, yeah, so we have dumplings and curry coconut shrimp. So yeah, I believe that this is finished now. You don't want to cook the shrimp too much because it will get... A little bit of made like a little bit of cheese paste. Even though it didn't come out like how like a usual puff does come out, it actually isn't bad. So I'm just gonna break one. So it actually came out good. It's just the shape of it. So I'm gonna taste it with some cheese paste. I taste it. Good. It just don't look appealing but it does taste good so yeah y'all i got 20 in this batch as i said it doesn't look like puff but y'all it tastes really really good so i think what i need to do is get the um the thing that it is used for icing with the shape so that it comes out kind of i don't know just if the the bag the the sandwich bag didn't help it but y'all it tastes so good so i have like some cheese in it it tastes so Oh nice, I swear to you all, I'm not joking. Alright chill, so I finished made everything and I am exhausted, like I'm literally tired, like shrimp, dumpling, puff, like you know. So I am going to bed and then at half six I'm going to eat trouble, you need to tell them. Be honest with them and tell them like how oh, it tastes It tastes real good. I was very pleasantly surprised because people, people can't make cheese puff. So I was like yeah, 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 she have it. She's a cook man, clearly didn't know. 
Plan de vivir. This is a quarantine here style. That's fine. Shut up, my girl. That's fine, though, because it's still cute sometimes. It's okay. It's okay. Fire, fire, body. I'm a moon earth for fire. He does always like do this in his songs, eh? Like yeah, that, moving up. Yeah. Hey, big up for that video. If you're watching this video, both. Sorry for you, Hide your face, moon and Okay, y'all, so this is my food. I took two dumplings and then I have my curry shrimp. Make it for your shrimp. Alright, y'all, I just finished eating. Oh, it is so good. Like, you know, sometimes I would be sure they could have tasted it, but then part of me is like, no, I'm not sharing. Period. I'm going to end this vlog here because I feel like you know I did enough for today. I will see you all in the next one later with curry on my hand. Later. There's nothing wrong with keeping certain people at a distance. That season has come to an end. I bless you in the name of the Lord, but this is my response. Oh, keep your distance.